Sago everyone. Welcome back to the part two of the moss bag um, tutorial. So where we left off was we got the moss bag uh, sewn up. So the last thing we need to do is to sew on um, your leather strip so that we can begin to lace it. So what I did was I took a piece of um, leather and I cut them into strips for each of you. Depending on the size of the baby you're making the moss bag for, you can leave it as thick as it is or you can go smaller so that it wraps more snugly around, um, let's say like a newborn baby. So I'm going to line it up at the bottom of the moss bag. Um, if it hangs over the top edge, that's okay. You can cut it off at the end. Um, so you always want to sew um, from the bottom up just so that you don't have any um, snags or any hanging off the edge that you don't want to hang off the edge. So I have our thick sewing needles to go through the leather. I have our sinew and I uh, double laced it, meaning I pulled it through and I laced both ends at a knot at the end. And so I'm going to get started at the end here and you want to make sure you get both um, both sides of the material. So you want to get your brown material and you want to get the print material that was given to you through. Um, you can do a, a circular stitch here or you can just go in and out, whichever you find easiest. Um, so you're just gonna start at the bottom and sew all the way to the top. With this stitch, because it's gonna be folded over and it's um, right in front of the moss bag where everyone will see it, you kinda wanna do um, stitching that is short and close together so that when you flip the stitching over to do the lacing, it's not gonna have any um, of the material poking out like sometimes it does. So you really want to make sure you concentrate and do um, short and close together stitching here. Okay, so we are back. So what I just did was I cut down the middle of the leather so it was hanging there like this and I cut down the center and I sewed on the other side. The other side I used a white thread just so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, sewing so like I said you can do the circular stitch that we did on the bottom right here or you can just do the simple in and out stitch and we are now on the last step of the moss bag which is very exciting and so it was like this and then you use the flaps and you turn them over so you don't see the stitch you can see it just like that and like I said, like you can keep it thick and then say when the baby comes, you can um, cut it down shorter so that it's nice and snug around the baby. Or if you um, have a baby who's, um, you know, more than a newborn, say like six months and up, it's good to use, um, you know, the thicker straps, uh, lacing straps like these. So um, it can really customize to their size. And, you know, say you do cut it a little too short and it's a little too snug on the baby, you can easily cut out the seam and make, um, put a bigger uh, leather panel in here. So the next step we are going to do is we are going to start cutting out the holes. So best way to do this is, I know a lot of people you may see take, um, you know like a marker and dab on there and that's fine if you're doing it on the side no one's gonna see the the rough side I guess you can say the side where you can see the seam of where we sewn it on um, but if you like to you know that's up to you you can do it on this side you can leave marks or you can just take your scissors and eyeball it. So you want each of the lacing probably about one inch apart and you can easily measure from um, top of your finger 
and go one inch all the way down on both sides. You wanna try and get them as level as you can all the way down. So I am just going to eyeball it. And if you don't have a whole leather hole punch, you can get them at Michael's, you can get them at Aircrafts. Um, but if you don't have them, you can easily take your scissors, so get really good sharp scissors, and fold the leather in half where you want to cut and use the tip of the scissors and just snip, snip, snip. So like you can see there, I just made a small little hole. So you can easily do it without a leather punch. So what I'm going to do is make holes all the way down. And one last thing I forgot to mention before we get uh, snipping is it all depends on where you want to snip your holes. You can snip them closer to where um, the seam is, you can snip them closer to the edge, or you can go right down the middle. All that's going to do is leave, if you go closer to the moss bag itself, is it's just gonna overlap, kind of like that. You see how this piece overlaps here and then the lace goes down? So it's all on you. It all depends on what you would like to do. If you go closer to the edge, it's gonna kinda sit side by side together. Um, I like doing it right in the middle, um, just so that some of the leather does overlap and it keeps baby nice and snug inside. All right, so now I am all done making my holes. So I am just going to take the leather lacing that I provided. Um, I find it easier if I take the end and kinda snip off a tiny little triangle all that does is create a little point like that that makes it easier to um, sew through. So what we're going to do is start at the bottom. So I'm just going to take a bunch and I'm going to do... Actually, the easiest way to do it actually is just to take your hole. I know you guys aren't don't have it on a spool. I kind of um, eyeballed as much as I think you guys would need. Um, you just take a bunch out. But let me just snip the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both ends of the strand, of the lacing I mean, and go in the bottom lace, just like that. And I'm gonna try and do this at the same time I just find it is easier to lace up when you do both um, sides of the lacing at the same time. You can go in later and you know make it more presentable, make it even. So, so as you can see here, I have the bottom of the lacing. This little end part we can fix after. You can easily just sew it together. You see how it kind of all bunches in that area. You can easily take your string and your thread and just sew the two ends of leather together, just like that. Um, me personally, I like kind of leaving it open just cause my daughter, when she's a baby, she kicks a lot. So um, just kind of gave her a little bit more um, room to be kicking the moss bag. So next I'm gonna take one end of the string and come up through one side of the lacing and pull it all the way through. And then I'm going to take the other side of the lacing and come up through the other side. And while I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep um, the leather folded over each other because that's what I wanted to do when I put in the holes. So now I'm going to crisscross. I'm taking the string that's on. Oops, I hope that didn't freeze too much. Um, so I'm taking the string that is on this side and stringing it through this end here. So, because I came up, so I'm going down, just like you would shoelaces. So I'm going down, so I create the crisscross there. And now I'm taking the string that's on this side and pushing it through the hole this way so I create the other side of the crisscross. And 
and I will do a more close up. See, just like that. So you're gonna be coming up, crisscrossing, down, crisscrossing, up, crisscrossing, down, all the way up to the top. And what you're gonna be creating is little X's all the way up. So this one was our end point, and like I said, you can leave it open if you would like. If not, easily take your sinew and your thread and just sew up the two leather pieces just like that so it stays put, okay?